We are going to the TikTok garage. Oh, that oh. is purely liquid. Who sold us this? That girl on TikTok. There he is. I just can't put into words like why I feel like this. Right. What's up, Seattle fam? Oh my god, it's echoey in here. We've you actually know why? cleaned. Look at that. There's space. There's still a couple of boxes left. But that's fine. That's acceptable. Before it was not acceptable. There was stuff everywhere. Yeah. We've got this still covering the map because I cleaned oh, it. Oh, on it. Pogo still might weigh on it. So I've got this covered just in case. Yeah. Where are we going, babe? Let them <laughs> oh know. Oh my God. So today, yes. me and my wild natural snack yeah. what? are going... What? What? <laughs> what? Your wild natural snack? Yeah, you're my wild natural snack. Oh my... Is that what that says? Yeah, it says you're a wild natural snack. Oh, I can't wear that. Oh my god, what's coming out? What? Oh, I don't want to know what they are. <laughs> I can't wear this. <laughs> I just pulled it out of the washing, can you tell? Because it's really like creased. It looks like um I look like a 14 year old. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I can't yeah, wear yeah. that. No. <laughs> I can't wear this. I can't. Oh, I can't. no, it's, it's not. It, it, I'm going to wear it as an underlayer for a bit of like heat. <laughs> but I'm not wearing it. It's what the kids used to wear to the under 18 discos. What? Under 18 discos. Oh, like the, you'd, go, you'd go when you were like 14. The picture tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's really cold in here. So, anyway, did you tell them where we're going or did you just. No, I just called you a wild natural snack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where are we going? We are going yes. to the TikTok. Garage. Yes. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a place called Sheffield, which is like two hours away from us, so we're quite far from it, but there's a TikTok garage. I saw a girl on TikTok go to this garage. They've got all the snacks you could They've ever think of. They've got all the TikTok snacks. They've got frozen Coke. Frozen Coca-Cola, so we need to go there. So let's hit the road, Jack. I'm popping out of my dress, as you do. Liana bought a size too small. I did, and it's my size, but it's a maternity dress. You don't talk to me with that tone of voice. But look, I'm out of it. Yes. You look beautiful, baby. Oh, thank you. Wait, are you going out in your brand new Crocs? I'm a brand new woman. I need to be christened. <laughs> but what, we're going to a gas station. It could get dirty. Okay, let's go. And we're here. I was expecting it to be really busy, but it isn't. I'm excited, It though. isn't. I am excited. Which is good. Let's just go in. I'm a little bit scared. Why is there nobody here? I hope this is worth it, otherwise I'll be very sad. <laughs> it's so big. That's what she said. <laughs> There's a subway. Well, I want a frozen Coke or a frozen Fanta. Which one? Oh, I don't know. My goodness, is nachos, milkshake. All right, well, <laughs> here I am. Clearly I'm getting these with salsa. Oh, you look really aesthetic next. Oh, what? Beautiful. Liana's currently queuing for the toilet because she really needs a wee. I think someone's having a chevrose because they're taking a while. Do you need any help in that? I'm so awkward. I don't know what to get. Okay, so you're going to try the Coke one? Yeah. Wow, this is... Oh. That is oh. purely liquid. Oh. I only came for the Coke. <laughs> I didn't get anything. Just get an ice blast or something just to make yourself feel better. Get some blue in there oh. as well. Oh. <laughs> it's just liquid. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we travelled two hours. Uh, I only came for the coke. We travelled two hours. And I've just realised that there's fluffs in, in the cup I was given. Like, I can see like loads of little fluffs, so I can't even drink this. We've now got to travel two hours home. <laughs> <laughs> Who sold us this? That girl on TikTok. I'm going to sue her. Everyone report her account. Don't, by the way, but two hours for this. Hey, listen, you don't know until you try. If I were you, I wouldn't come here unless you live in Sheffield. Oh, yeah. If you live more than 10 minutes away, wouldn't bother. No. Wouldn't bother. No. But you know what? It's cool in there. That it's just not two hours worthy. Yeah, but there was nothing in there that I thought, oh, yeah, I don't know what that is and I'd like to try it. No, but can I have some sanitizer, please? Yes. So it's not the end of the world, mainly because I've just realised that there's a Dunkin' Donuts nearby. So we've never been to Dunkin' Donuts and a lot of you guys are now American. So I want to try it because we didn't get to go when we were in LA. So we've arrived at Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to ask for the Charlie. Do you reckon they have that? <laughs> no, I'm going to have to ask for customizations, but I don't even know if they do customizations here. I've never been. Oh no. <laughs> the table. I dropped my sweets. It's broken. <laughs> So Liana's about to film a video because <laughs> what have you got? I asked 
the lady to make me her favourite drink. Okay. And this is a, what was it? A caramel fudge frappuccino. It looks and, and sounds amazing. Oh my goodness. Get your straw in, I wanna oh. go as well. How good is it out of 10? 15. Let me have a go. I'll be the judge of this. That's amazing. <laughs> she was locally watching us through the window then. I got the Charlie. I've never had the Charlie. So it's um. She <laughs> has this like every day. So this is a, a cold brew with whole milk and caramel swirl. Yes. Was well, it nice? Is it nice? This is, is it actually amazing? <laughs> Let me try it. Why Let's... don't we have a Dunkin' Donuts? We don't have this anywhere near us. Let me have a go. Let me have a go. <laughs> I can't have it. I can only have a little bit because obviously I can only have so much coffee. In I the get day. to drink that all the way home. I'm gonna get to drink it. That's so nice. Okay, we better go home now before we both have a caffeine crash. Don't you drink too much of that. You got Babby to think about. So, <laughs> so I look really dirty because I've got fake tan on. Um, I'm 28 weeks today, which is madness. I'm so, oh, I don't know how to explain it for the past like three days. I've just felt like crap. I've just felt really, really bad. And I've got no reason to feel bad. Like I don't feel, I don't feel sick. I don't like, nothing like that. I just feel really crap. And I don't know what's wrong with me. I've got stuff to do. And I just feel like I can't do them. I feel really, I shouldn't say this because it's, it's not the right word, but I, I feel ugly. <laughs> I feel ugly, does that, does that make sense? Like, oh my God. I just don't feel myself. I feel like I look horrible. I, I, I feel like I look how I feel as well. Like even yesterday, I took time out to kind of like relax, go to the shower, do a face mask, and then I fake tan today. Yeah, it's just like nothing is helping. Nothing is helping and I've got stuff to do and I need to do them. And I just don't know. <laughs> just... <sighs> But I don't want to sit in bed either, like, I don't want to just lie down, I don't want to nap, I'm not tired, I just I don't know what's wrong with me. And just to make things worse, I really want to. But I also, like, I don't want to be stressed, I don't want to feel like this. Because the more stressed out I am, I don't want to stress Babby out. I just can't put into words, like, why I feel like this. Right? And it's funny because I went through... A phase like this in my first trimester as well but I never even once thought to put the camera on because I thought nobody wants to hear about this like I wanted our channel to be kind of you know come over to this positive space where you can get away I didn't think anyone wanted to hear about my problems <laughs> and what I was going through but the fact that so many of you said that it's been a lot of help to see like a realistic side to things so yeah that's how I'm feeling today and yesterday and the day before, just no explanation. Just a whole lot of sad. We'll work it out. I'll work it out. I'll try again tomorrow. Morning, guys. We just woke up and we thought this would be a cute little segment. Liana's bought a Doppler. A Doppler. So you can hear baby's heartbeat. So we thought we'd let you guys hear baby's heartbeat. We've used it before. So we thought, why not use it again and show you baby's heartbeat? First things first, I've done my research, okay? Do not use this for reassurance ever. Always go to your midwife. And you've got to be careful because I've been told that you can pick up your placenta's heartbeat rather than baby's heartbeat as well. Yeah. And only use it once a week. Okay. So there's absolutely nothing harmful about using one of these. They just say don't use it too often because of the reassurance thing. You don't want to be thinking that your baby's okay just yeah. because you can hear the heartbeat. Yeah, because if baby's not moving and you've done that and you go, oh, baby's fine, I can hear the heartbeat. That's not the case. No. Sometimes baby can be poorly or ill. Um, and the heart's obviously going to keep beating, but you can't you can't use it as reassurance. That's fine. Anyway, we're going to use it. First things first, I need you to say hello to Babby first, okay? Oh, Because I haven't said hello this morning. He's moving. Oh, my good. Oh, my goodness. Did you get that? Yeah. You just woke him up with your cackle. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a big one. Hello, Babby. Oh, I feel him. He's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's he, something he leans here. against... Is that a foot or is that like... Sometimes when we're feeling him at night, he comes out about... He comes out. Half he just comes <laughs> out and has a little chat with us. <laughs> <laughs> and then we put him back in to keep cooking. He wakes up around half 11 at night, pretty much every night, right? Yeah. So um, I, I put my hand on Leona's belly and I get to say hello every single night at half 11. So we tend to stay up quite late at the minute.
bit fearful looking like today. You get to say hello in the morning. I always know when he's awake. Of course you do. You can feel him. I don't have that. So you want to listen out for a nice crisp heartbeat and not a muffled one. Because the muffled one will be the, placent. the placentin. I have to work out where he is. <laughs> he's telling me off. He's saying, hey mummy, stop poking me. I think I found him. So he's quite low down. Keeps moving! <laughs> he's telling me off, he's like, no! I don't want to be prodded this morning. There he is. That's it. Okay, Let's leave him alone stop. now. He's, then. he's like, stop it. <laughs> he's got to be like, I don't know. He's though. definitely sitting low. He's today. lying down here, but he's like, I can always feel something hard here. So I, I don't. He's there. I can, uh, he's there. He's so big now that I can feel him. I always him wonder kicking. if they get annoyed when you're poking away, and they're like, "What are you doing? Get out of my space." So I, I reckon he's already upside down. You know, I reckon he's ready in like birthing position. Well, we can only hope. <laughs> So after my little bit of a cry, I salvaged the tap. Well, actually, <laughs> I say that I definitely didn't. I took to my Instagram because I like to vent. I found it funny because <laughs> I just had tan streaks just down my face. So I posted this picture here, and I said, "Like, well, this is how day one of my first trimester is going." When I started social media, because it was an accident, and I, I didn't, I wanted to do social media, but it wasn't something I was going out of my way to pursue. I was just kind of making content for fun, just doing it for a bit of a joke. And then obviously I met Connor and it kind of took off. Sorry, I can't find a brush. Obviously when you become a bit more popular on social media and you start getting hate and stuff, it's hard to get your head around, especially when I wasn't expecting it. I definitely wasn't expecting to build such an amazing support network of people who just like support us in everything that we do. So yeah, but along with that comes the hate. And then when you start social media, it's so hard to not respond to hate. You kind of have to get used to it and understand that people are either really sad and they've got nothing better to do than to sit there and say horrible things about you, or they want to be a social media person and they hate that you've been able to build up such an amazing audience. So there's that. So you get over it eventually. Obviously we've been doing this for like almost three years now, which is absolutely crazy. You get used to it, you get over it. Someone sends you a hate comment, you look at it and you just kind of like giggle a little bit. Oh no, we're running out of battery. Bye bye man. You look at it, you have a little bit of a giggle and you get over it. It's just like you don't respond because you know that's what they want. They want you to respond. But then since becoming pregnant, it's like starting that journey all over again. It infuriates me when people start commenting on my pregnancy, on my body, or on my baby. It's a new type of rage and I just, I can't help myself. It upsets me and I can't help myself but want to respond to these people. So I, I posted this picture on Instagram and then I'm looking through my DMs to see what people are saying because I do that every single night anyway. And then I see this one message from this girl. It's probably gonna infuriate me again just reading it, but it upset me so much. Crying, this is someone who has been messaging me for months by the way, just like not, not being horrible, just like giving advice and stuff. So I'm pretty confident that it's an adult who <laughs> is definitely a fan and she goes, <laughs> crying the fake tad off Lamau. Those chemicals aren't good for the baby anyway, but who cares about your baby when you always have to look so good? You're disgusting. And I was looking at it for a while and I was like, no, she wants me to respond and that's why she's done it. And I was thinking, to myself, no, don't do it, don't do it. But then something came over me, I'm like, I'm gonna have to respond. So I was like, I won't say anything. I will just send her the link that proves that fake tanning is completely safe when you're pregnant because it doesn't go through the first layer of skin. The only thing you shouldn't do when you're pregnant is go for a spray tan. But even if I had decided to go for a spray tan, that's my choice. And if I want to take that risk, then again, that would have been my choice to take. Nobody else's, not that I would do that, but still. And then I get a response. And this is why I, I just shouldn't have responded full stop because obviously she's a certain type of person who just wants attention. And she goes, try and justify it all you want. You can't put your baby before your looks, so you don't deserve to be a mother. Connor deserves someone more maternal, not someone who's materialistic. 
I just blocked her after that. I was like, nope, block, block. Because uh, she is the type of person that you'd respond to. You could literally break down her entire argument and prove with scientific fact to why she is incorrect. And they, she would still say the same thing because that's the type of person she is. Like her, her goal is just to make me feel horrible as a first time mum. So very nice. But the, the only reason I'm bringing it up again is because I just think there's so much stress as it is being a first time mum. Obviously, when you're on social media, it opens you open yourself up to like so much unwanted opinions and people want to have a say on everything that you do, which is fair enough. Like you have to expect it when you start social media. I'm always open to any advice, friendly advice. Like, are you supposed to be wearing fake tan? I'm just wondering. Um, like, there's a certain way to be saying things. There's just so much stress. And then for people like this, there's so many of them as well, but on and offline, everyone wants to give you their opinion on what they think you should be doing or what you should do or what you shouldn't do. And it just always, like everything I do, I feel guilty for doing it. Like I felt so bad. I felt horrible. I didn't feel like I looked nice. You know, I'm carrying a baby. I still want to look nice. <coughs> I just inhaled a whole lot of powder. So essentially what she's saying is, when you become a mum, you are not allowed to care about how you look. You're not allowed to fake tan because you feel like fake tanning and it makes you feel better. I just don't understand where people look at a person and think, oh yeah, I wanna tell them what I think they're doing wrong. Even though it's not my body, it's not my child. I'm not carrying the baby, but I want to let them know how disgusting I think they are because they're not doing things the way I would do them. It's just a little bit scary because like even offline as well, so many of you have told me, it doesn't stop the amount of people that have told me this that and the other you shouldn't be doing this oh my god i can't believe you bought that pram i can't believe you're drinking coffee you're a disgusting human for putting a bit of moisturizer on your skin how dare you care how dare you care about them wrinkles i just i don't know i just find it really really weird and can we just stop guilt tripping people for doing what they decide to do i just You'll become pregnant and everyone becomes an expert on pregnancy. That's how I see it, everyone. But hopefully I will get over it. Can you, like, I'm getting infuriated now. Can you imagine when baby is here and someone's trying to say something about my baby? That's gonna be like six billion times worse. Cause I, I just think what goes through that woman's head because I was clearly going through a rough time and your emotions reflect on baby. So whatever you feel, baby feels so. I don't know why you would ever want to make me feel worse than I already do. It's just really strange, so. Well, we've had quite the week, haven't we? Yeah. Very up and down emotionally. I think them flowers just uh, represent how we our bought week has gone. <laughs> we bought some flowers. <laughs> Clearly we can't keep flowers alive because they look so sorry for themselves. I thought the yellow ones would make them look a bit bright. <laughs> <laughs> they just look worse. It looks like bok choy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like leeks. Either way, thank you so much guys for your support. It, like You guys block out all the hate for us because we're overwhelmed with the support that you show. <laughs> Would you like to end this episode with a pregnancy dance? Because it seems like you're doing one in the background. Yeah, but uh, we would have got copyrighted for that song, I think. Yeah, but if you just sing it, you'll be fine. <laughs> that is something. Let's win the song, come on, let me see you get on. Baby mamas, this is your song. Been pregnant there for way too long. Tell the DJ turn it on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't you drink too much of that, you got Bobby to think about.